Hi everyone, Rory here, and welcome to the next episode of Rory Talks. So, today I'm going to be discussing my characters from The Loss. And it's Adrian, which is the redhead, Cole, who has black hair, and Justin, who is at the bottom of the heart. So, if you don't get an idea of what I'm trying to point out with the heart in the three characters, there is a love triangle. Um, Cole and Justin are both siblings, and Adrian is a Nephilim. He's a demon half-human. And so basically, um, Justin and Cole are siblings. They love each other because they're... Um, well, the word that Justin calls Cole is brother, but Cole is not binary, but... So yeah, they're, they're brothers. And so Adrian likes Justin a little too much, and Cole likes Adrian a little too much. Now, there is kind of an off and on relationship with Justin, as he doesn't know how he feels about Adrian. In which, eventually, he realizes that he does not love Adrian. So, he basically turns on him and just yells at him non-stop. So, it basically becomes, like, toxic. And then, Cole, on the other hand, is trying to tell Adrian how they feel about him. And Adrian is just confused, just like, why are you telling me this? I like your brother, you know this, and it's just like, okay, Cole, we we may have had, like, two kids together, well, technically one, but, like, I'm sorry, but I, I still kind of like Justin, so, um, you can take that as kind of toxic as well, but... Cole and Adrian do eventually get together because that's how the story goes. And then Justin basically turns on them both and he tries to kill Cole, telling him that he's taking everything from him, everything that he's ever wanted, and he's ruining his- like, that Cole is ruining his life. And basically, he becomes toxic to both Adrian and Cole. Eventually, in the end, they figure out that the prophecy of two brothers is actually Cole and Justin, not Cole and Klaus. Even though Cole and Klaus are twins, literally separated. Cole going with Ricky and Klaus staying in the tribe with his father. While, yes, that's technically true where they were separated at birth. But you also gotta think, Justin was, like, he wasn't even one yet whenever Ricky left. And so, Ricky ended up giving birth at the tribe where she had Cole and Klaus. So technically, two brothers. Cole is intersex, if you didn't know that. Um, meaning they were born with both male and female genitalia. But Cole goes by they, them. So, uh, their sibling still calls, sometimes calls them sister or brother. But, uh, technically, kind of two brothers separated at birth. Um, one being in Kingsville, Ohio, at the time of the other's birth. Cole was born at the tribe. Justin was born a year earlier, and they were separated because Ricky didn't bring anybody with her. She just left with Dimitri. So yeah, that's a quick little recap of that. Uh, I don't think I've actually ever dug that deep into the story, but I probably will add more videos like this into Rory Talks, so if you want to check that out, you can watch them. So, yeah, so basically it's a love triangle that's kind of filled with toxic, tox, 
toxicity. Can't can't say that word. Toxicity. And Cole can kind of be clingy, which is also kind of toxic. Then again, Cole is scared to be alone. Um, there's a whole thing around that. And then Justin, he just, he kind of wants to be alone, if that makes sense. But he wants love, but he wants someone that he loves. Like, he loved Veronica, and he was going to start a family with her, but she ended up passing away. Now, on another note, there is some other things. So, while Philip, being the oldest, he may be Justin's brother, but he's technically not Cole's brother. Though, they do still call each other brother slash sister. Um, Philip is actually the son of Evan's sister, Evelyn, his twin sister, and Max, which is Justin's dad. And then Alex is the son of Ricky and Jacob, and Alex doesn't find out who his father is until later in the series, whenever he finds out that Max isn't his dad, and then it's basically the whole thing that happened with Cole, and then Ale, Justin, they're both the, the spawn of Max and Ricky, and then Ricky basically cheats on Max. Which is okay, because Max had, like, three mistresses, but it's it's no telling how many kids are right there, or if any, so. And so, basically, Ricky cheats on Max with, um, Dimitri. You can see that in, um, The Lost Week, um, PMV animatic. So, if y'all want to check that out, y'all can. Kind of like small little backstory. And so, yeah, they end up having Colin Klaus. And then, like, maybe six years later, uh, Max and Ricky have Jessica. And then, two years later, after Jessica's born, they have Matt. And yeah, so basically, that's that relationship. Which is really weird. So technically, if we're being technical, Philip and Cole are not siblings. So yeah. And technically, if I'm thinking about this correctly, um, Alex is the son of Ricky and Jacob. And Philip is the son of Max and Evelyn, so technically Alex is also not technically Philip's brother. So yeah, it's, it's a it's a lot to wrap around your head. So and so basically, um, Adrian and Cole they have Winter. Um, he's a Nephilim, and he's also albino. And so, um, not even a year later, Cole gets pregnant again. This time, it's due to, um, okay, so sometimes intersex people can reproduce on their own. Um, it's like, I, I don't even know how to describe it, but I, I've seen several videos of intersex people actually getting pregnant. So, I'm just, I don't know if it's a known fact, but I'm just basing my knowledge of what the video was. So, yeah. Cole ends up leaving, going to the tribe, and he has Caroline. Excuse me, they they have Caroline. Well, I, I go by non, I'm, I'm non-binary and I go by they, them, and I still can't even get pronouns correct. Ain't that something. Anyway, so... Yeah, and then maybe like seven years later, whenever 
Adrian and Cole get together. Justin gets mad, yells at Adrian, hunts Cole down. Cole finds out that they're pregnant with triplets. Adrian doesn't know about that, but he knows that Cole is pregnant. And so he tells Cole to go to the tribe. Cole goes to the tribe. The tribe is basically torn apart. And basically, he they find Klaus. And Klaus is just like, oh, well, I'm technically the leader of the tribe now. And I'm so confused because I don't know where father is. And all this stuff. And then Cole is just like, oh my god, so you're basically out here alone. You're going to be dying because there's something killing y'all all off and you don't even know what it is and every time you send a person out to go find this thing it kills them they never come back and Klaus is just like oh yeah basically and Cole's just like y'all need to leave why don't y'all just leave and Klaus is just like we can't leave we were born here and Cole's just like well guess what I mean if y'all don't leave y'all all die and if y'all all die, there is no tribe. And he's just like basically telling him sometimes you have to be smart than brave. Brave rather than just being smart all the time. Uh, brave all the time. Like, they're staying there to keep their home. Yet, every time, like, there's an issue, people go missing. So, they're not leaving... They, they just keep trying to solve a problem that they can't solve, which is killing them off more. And there's only, like, there was, like, 500 people in the tribe to begin with, and now there's only, like, 45. So, there's that issue, and eventually, Klaus and his tribe do leave, and Cole stays behind, and he tells Winter to leave with Caroline with the tribe. Okay, so that carried on way longer than I thought it would. So that's basically it for right now. Um, If y'all want to know more about The Lost, just let me know, comment below, and tell me what you thought about this talk. So um, if you want to hear more or watch, watch more of my videos, just uh, comment below, leave a like, subscribe, and hit that bell icon on the side of the subscribe button to be notified every time I post another one of these. Thank you, and I will see you on the next Monday. Bye-bye.